We are surely don't have visitors. Oh, really? So what is your reason for being here? I have been sent by law enforcement to investigate strange activity here. What sort of strange activity? There have been reports of missing people. I know this place has stories of paranormal creatures and satanic rituals. Although I am not a superstitious person myself, and I do not expect to stay here for long, but I hope you and the other residents wouldn't mind me asking questions. Well, you couldn't be in a more beautiful location, so feel free to wander around with your cameras. And of course, you are welcome to ask me or anyone for help and let us know how you get on. I have just found a phone in this dream bed. The lock screen shows a picture of one of the missing people, Alexander Thomas. He was last spotted at the old castle, so that is where I will search next. So how long has this beautiful island been uh, settled for? Around 10,000 years, no of. And this castle hasn't been here the whole time, has it? Well, there have been people here. We found remains going back 8,000 years. Really? Now, I'd be very disappointed if you told me it wasn't haunted. Well, there is the story of the black dog, the more that do. So the black dog used to sit down in the guard room and the guards used to have to take the keys down a corridor and they were all a bit fearful of this dog, a bit supernatural maybe. So when they took the keys, they would go in pairs because they didn't like to be alone with the dog until one night one brazen fellow... I'm getting quite scared now. Just let me brace myself. One night, yeah. One brazen fellow had had a, a few, few drinks. Right and said, I'm not afraid of him, I'll take the keys on my own. What happened? The dog got up from the fire well, and followed him down. No. They heard a piercing scream. <laughs> when he came back, he was ashen grey. Yeah. He didn't speak for three whole days, and then he died. The dog was never seen again. Blimey. And the passageway was bricked up. But you wouldn't catch me in here after dark. Well, you wouldn't catch me either. I'm not going to sleep for the next three nights. The name of that dog again? Arthur Do. If you see him, run. You're doing foraging for food. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting our reeds ready to take up to the top so that we can pay our rent to the nanny. Okay. Yeah. Well, I look forward to hearing an explanation of what that's <laughs> all about. <laughs> this is currency we're on the island. Is it? <laughs> Mananan, is that right? Mananan. Yeah. Yeah. Mananan yeah. Lear, the, uh, the god of the sea. Okay, and uh, he's a manx. So he's the god who's looking after us all on this bonny little isle. The idea is that Mananin uh, would save us and would help um, if there was invading ships. He would cast his cloak and the mist would come down and the Isle of Man would be hidden. So all the invaders wouldn't be able to see us. So whenever it gets misty like it is today, he's out and about. Really? He's, he's protecting us So we can feel his presence. So it's the right time to come up here. He just asks for some rushes or wreaths to be delivered to the top of South Barul once a year. We better go and give thanks to all this, to the great Mananan. Yeah, yeah.
can I just thank you first? Michelle and Chloe, thank you for bringing me to this incredible beauty spot. <laughs> I am absolutely yes, underwhelmed guys. completely. <laughs> I've traipsed up a hill, yeah. freezing temperatures, yeah. wind, driving rain, yeah. to pay yeah. tribute to a god I hadn't heard of <laughs> half an hour ago. <laughs> right, so let's not mess this up. All right, so it's good to find a rock nearby. A rock. That's yeah. it. OK. And we'll put it down, put our rushes down. There we go. God of the sea. Do we have to do anything? Say a prayer? Well, we've got a lovely little song we like to sing. Go on then. Yeah, Go on then. Absolutely. Manana McLear, son of me, help the God of the sea. Brilliant. <laughs> right, come on, let's get down. You can teach me that on the way down. Manana <laughs> McLear, son of Leah, son of Leah, help the God of the sea. This is the perfect place to bury his body. Exactly. 